This is your two-minute update here on MSUSpartans.com. I'm your host, Kara Albrecht. The last time men's basketball had a four-game win streak against Wisconsin was back in 2001. That was also the last time they won back-to-back games in Madison. Tuesday night broke that streak. A slow start for both teams saw the Badgers edge in front early, but Brandon Dawson was determined to keep MSU in the game. He led the way with 11 points in the first half, followed closely by 10 from Keith Appling. The new captain converted on a rare four-point play when he was fouled on a made three-point and then hit the free throw. Appling and Dawson continued to carry the offense, and the Spartans took the lead halfway to the finish line in the second. They held it through a stretch where neither team scored for more than four minutes. And with 15 seconds to go, the lead was won with Gary Harris on the free throw line. The freshman made one shot to move the lead to two, and Wisconsin's George Marshall couldn't answer on the charity stripe, missing two straight free throws. The Spartans got the ball inbounds and completed a 49-47 win, their second in a row at the Kohl Center. They competed, they stuck together, and right now that's what we're trying to do, be better team, stick together. The huddles were great. Um, it wasn't pretty, but, you know, uh, Wisconsin's a hard team to play. Hockey at home hosting the USA Under-18 development team in a rare Tuesday night game. They were scoreless until the second period when the Americans dented the twine twice. Kevin LeBanc made it 2-0 heading for the third, where the Spartans surrendered one more goal to make the final 3-0. They'll host Penn State for the first time on Friday night, but leading scorer Matt Berry will miss the game after he was assessed a game disqualification for checking from behind. Women's tennis lost the doubles point to Eastern Michigan, but came back to win the match 4-3. Number one singles player Marina Borer continued her win streak with a 6-0, 6-2 victory. And Nicole Herzog also won in straight sets. The ladies will host two more home matches on Saturday against Ball State and Detroit. We will preview women's basketball against Nebraska on our next show. That's your two-minute update. I'm Kara Albrecht. You give us two minutes, we'll give you the Spartans.